What's up guys, welcome, my name is Mikko and today I'm gonna bring you guys my 40k Q&A I asked you guys to ask me questions on Twitter and I haven't done a Q&A in a while so I was I was like, you know, why not do it for 40k I think it would be interesting and a lot of people have been requesting for me to do one so uh, yeah, here we go. So the first question I got from Jack Rogers, it's a pretty common one, what got you into sniping? And to be honest with you, it's basically the same for everyone, if you really think about it. It's just, you know, you start watching videos, you start watching highlights on YouTube, and uh, you just get really addicted to it, and you want to do videos yourself and stuff like that. And I guess, you know, that kind of goes, you know, the same with, uh, you know, starting to do YouTube, and starting to snipe, it was, you know, both the same reason, I just saw other people doing it, and I was like, you know, it's so fun to watch, you know, there's no way it's not gonna be fun to make as well, and I can feel that I can make it as well, so, why not just uh, give it a shot? The next question is from Adam Taylor, and he asked, what clans did you first start off in? Uh, I'm just gonna tell you every clan that I've been in, uh, you know, I started off as a solo player, obviously, then I went to TS, Optic, Solo, Obey, Gamma, and Soar now, and uh, that is basically it. I mean, just the TS and Optic part, it was like almost, what, three years just in those two teams. I stayed in TS for a very, very long time and directly made the jump to Optic. That was, you know, one of the most insane, I, I guess you could say, transitions that I made in terms of teams. It was really, really mind-blowing. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy right now and uh, hopefully, you know, big things to come in the future. Next question is from Swag LP. Great name, sir. Great name. Is your cousin Ronaldo crying in your room right now? He's not crying here, but he, he, I, I hope he's crying somewhere else, because that World Cup shit, that was not cool, man. That was not cool. Aaron Teha asked, if you could hit any clip, what would it be? So I'm gonna guess, you know, dream clip, but it, it's kind of possible, I guess. Uh, I feel like back-to-back -back triple headshots, one bullet, you know, for the six on screen would be... I, I think that would be crazy. And it's, you know, it's completely possible. You just need, you know, like all the luck in the world. I mean, other than that, it's it's pretty much possible. Next question, again, from Jack Rogers. Pretty good one. I'll, I really like this one. Would you class YouTube slash streaming a job or just a hobby? Right now, it's just a hobby. I'm a student I'm going to university next year. Uh, but I would definitely, you know, want to uh, keep going. Uh, keep growing both on Twitch and on YouTube and, you know, hopefully one day achieve, uh, in my opinion, the dream of making this, uh, you know, my full-time job. I think that would be pretty insane, pretty crazy, and it would be just one hell of an experience. This next question is from Ukron, and he asked me something that has been asked to almost everybody. This is this is becoming a pretty mainstream question, but I think it's, it's very important for me to answer it. Uh, what do your parents think about your gaming? Uh, at the beginning, you know, it was all cool then, I guess there was a time there where they didn't really say anything, but you know, they didn't really like it that much. Now that I'm able to do some sort of revenue with it, you know, they are a little bit more okay with it and they actually start to understand because even before the revenue, they, they start to understand a little bit because I show them exactly what I do, what my objectives are, you know, I show them videos, show them stream, this is what people do, you know, look at how many people are watching videos, look at how many people are watching streams, look at the... just everything, you know, it's a big community in the internet, and uh, it's definitely something that, you know, your parents, my parents may not know about, and, you know, if you, if you don't tell them, how are they gonna know, honestly? Next question, this is, I'm not gonna lie, definitely the most important question that I have through the Q&A, so, you know, this is it, guys. Question, are, are you ready? Okay. On a rainbow of 1 to 10, what chocolate is 55 slash 90? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna rate chocolate as a 69 here. Another question from Swag LP. If you were stuck on a desert island, which three girls would you take to entertain yourself? Okay, three. Okay. Now, you gotta keep in mind before I answer this that no matter what I answer, you know, there's always gonna be people complaining, okay? So I'm gonna open Google here and make my, 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 my research just so I can pick three amazing, just so I can pick three girls, okay? So the first one is gonna be Kate Upton, okay? I think it's a popular choice. And my second choice, uh, hmm, this is hard, man, this is hard. Who the fuck am I gonna pick for my second choice? 
Oh, oh, who's that girl from Game of Thrones? Oh god, give me a second. Give me a second. Natalie Dormer. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just gotta be. I'm sorry. And uh, so, so we got Kate Upton, Natalie Dormer, and then for the third one, I'm gonna pick your mom. Oh! Obey IMK. He asked, do you like pie? Meh. It's overrated. Get at me, bro. I just asked, in five years, would you still be sniping? Well, you know, I'm not sure if it's gonna be sniping. But uh, I hope that I still have some sort of a stream or YouTube and that, you know, we keep doing what we do today. Just entertain thousands of people. Hopefully, I'll be still able to do that. And hopefully, you know, uh, the community will just keep growing the video game industry and we will just explode, dude. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, we're getting to the hand here. Uh, Pokey MXL asked, if you were given to live anywhere in the world, where would you want to live? This is a very complicated question. I think I would pick Sweden, honestly. It's like, I like Europe. Okay, I like Europe, so I wouldn't mind staying here. Right? I like video games. Sweden has Dreamhack. Okay. I like girls. Once again, Sweden. Obviously. You want fast internet? Sweden. I'm gonna go with Sweden here. This, that, yes, it's gonna be my final choice. It's gonna be Sweden. Okay, one more question. The last one is gonna be, who's your favorite superhero? I don't know why. I can honestly, I, I cannot explain this, but my favorite superhero, it's gotta be Iron Man. I don't know why. It's just, I like him, dude. I, fuck, I think he's a badass. I like him. Definitely my favorite superhero. And uh, this final question is going to wrap up the 40k Q&A. Please leave a comment down below if you want me to do another Q&A in the future. I don't mind them. I don't mind to do them. They're, they're pretty easy to do, you know. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter. And, uh, you know, once I tweet it out that I'm going to be answering questions, people send me some questions. This is pretty cool. It was an awesome experience. And uh, once again, guys, thank you very, very much for 40k. Hopefully, we will stop at 4 million or more. I will allow to go over 4 million. I will allow that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. My name is Macau, and I'll see you guys on the next video.